I used to own my own company in San Antonio. I moved to Dallas last year and started a brand new company January 1st of this year. And so I knew absolutely no one when I arrived here and started totally from scratch. Where were you at when you started on the, the C package process? I think I had about 18 properties. And okay. at that time I was taking anything that I could get so that I would have some properties. And I so wasn't some really, bad doors. <laughs> yeah, I needed some doors. And so I was doing that. Um, there was really no uh, focus on what I was trying to get or how I was trying to, to get it. So the door grow part has really helped me. I've been watching the videos and sometimes I'm a slow learner. I have to watch them two or three times to be able to get all of it. Cause a lot of them, yeah. you know, with an hour to hour and a half material, it's a lot of material. So, so I've done it for, you know, four or five months. And now that I've hit 50 properties, I'm like, wow, it's, it's kind of snowballed. I mean, it, it's, it's going to get to the point where I, I'm not going to be able to handle it myself and have to, you know, bring on some additional help, but in the business. So you said 50 doors, 50 doors. And it's just me. I work from home. Um, all my business is in the cloud, uh, totally paperless. Love that. I want to, you know, I wanted to develop it to where I could sit on the beach and still manage properties. And that's the way it, it's worked out. So before you sign up for the seed package, um, how is your business different now with, um, you know, right now versus when you signed up, like what, what's changed? Like how's what, how are the properties different? How's your life different? What's different? Well, Dallas is such a huge area that, um, I found myself in the beginning just taking anything and not really focusing. And then I was actually, I would be kind of mad at myself because I would say, Amy, why would you take a property that's 45 minutes or an hour away that's not really what you want. And so I think the the seed package has helped me focus on what it is that I, I really want. And it's really given me the tools to say, you know, that's just, you know, that house is out of my market area. That's not, it's not a good house. It's um, taking cues from bad owners and turning them down to begin with and, and being uh, more choosy. I actually have the cycle of suck posted on my wall in my office right here behind me. So I see it every day. Oh, I love it. And I, re I remind myself um, that I do not want to be in the cycle of suck. So um, that's allowed me to, to really focus. And it's been it's been OK as a new owner, as a new company to say no to crappy properties and properties that are too far away and crappy owners. So that's that's been really freeing, to tell you the truth. That's awesome. That's really awesome. No, I love it. Love it. I've been super excited. Uh, last month, I think I, I went, went over 4,000 in, in property management uh, income just on management fees. And the leasing fees, 90% of my own properties. And so the leasing fees have been off the chart compared to what I was anticipating. It's been unbelievable how many of these properties I've been able to lease myself. Awesome. And so you've quadrupled your income since starting then? Yes. And where do you see yourself in 12 months from now then? Uh, well, I didn't let's, expect let's paint a picture where you, like you, you, you know how far you've gotten and how long has it been? It's been like seven yeah, months. Over here. <laughs> seven months. Seven. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's taking a little bit of time. Where do you see yourself 12 months from now then? If you just keep in the state of momentum. I really thought it would take me at least 12 to 18 months to get where I am now. And so to be at this place in seven to eight months has been absolutely unbelievable. Um, if, if this pace continues, I, I will double by the end of this year. So then, you know, it's going to have to be some, some real, you know, digging into, you know, is it, do I need a VA? Do I need an assistant? Do I need, another, do I need a property manager and just let me do business development, which is the part that I love. Um, you know, it's, it's exciting to see what the future holds and it, it's a little scary too. Yeah. It's really awesome to hear you succeeding. Um, anything else you want to share with the group? Uh, not that I can think of. I, I really enjoy, um, I think the Facebook group is great. Um, I've been enjoying watching some of the conversations, participating in some, I'm watching a lot of them. And so 
I think we're, there's, there's so much business out there for all of us. We can all learn from each other. There's so much. And when you get into the place where you're at right now, you, you're able to see that when people are in the space of starving, struggling and fighting over the worst leads, right? They can't, they can't see that. And it creates a, an environment, I think, in the property management industry that doesn't need to exist right now because there's so much market share waiting to be created. Absolutely. Love it. All right, cool. Amy. Again, appreciate all the help, Jason. Absolutely.